Okay, and it seems we're live. So, um, you know, some would say uh, we will, we are saving the best uh, for the last, right? So we are here with uh, um, uh, Rafael uh, Guimaraes and uh, Cesar Hernandez. Um, we know Cesar very, very well from uh, Tommy Tribe. Uh, so this is the last session of the day and uh, a great application of uh, 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 micro profile. And we will learn how the micro profile is keeping uh, Brazil's medical industry safe. So um, without any further ado, um, thanks for hanging out with us. Uh, and I will uh, hand it over to Rafael and Cesar. Thank you much, Tanya. Thank you. Okay, so um, thank you for, 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 for bearing with, with, the, with us in this session. Uh, it, it's been a long day, so let's, let's start. So uh, as, as, as presented, my name is Rafael Guimarães, and we're going to talk about our case that we entitled Keeping Brazil's Medical Industry Safe with Microprofile. So, uh, I am a software engineer from GBR Systems. I work with medical and judicial areas in Brazil for more, almost 30 years. And Cesar Hernandez, he, you guys know, he is very experienced in Java world. So, our agenda, we're going to present Brazilian healthcare system overview our base system, and how we boost the, the Brazilian healthcare systems with Jakarta E, Eclipse Market Profile, Apache Tommy, and a special application as response to the COVID-19, and some lessons learned. So we, we, we always uh, show how big is Brazil. It's the 50th largest country in the world, 60th largest population with uh, more than 200 million people and 50 hundred thousand doctors we are divided in 26 states and more than 5,000 cities Here we show how, how big is Brazil and, and the proportion uh, of the, 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 the relation doctor and patients. So at Northeast, we have the most, uh, the, the worst uh, situation. We have one doctor per six, almost 6,000 people. The other hand, the South is the, the, the better are in Brazil. So we have one doctor per 1,000 people that uh, World Health Organization recommends. So we have some disequalities here in Brazil. Here we show uh, the, our big problem. We have uh, at the left, left side uh, three, three, three main actors the doctors, the patients, and the health service providers. So at the, these three, three actors, of course, the medical practice. And at the medicine schools, uh, people make residency, learning, training, specializations. And, and we have the government health departments making control, regulation, policies, sanitary surveillance keep uh, keep records and provide some lessons licenses and those systems of the government integrate and share information with the medicine council in the united states i think the the you guys have the american association or things like that and and the medicine council has counselors and inspectors over the medical practice. 
So here we can see many applications in health system industry. Uh, we have some uh, major challenges here. Our system is very low. We have inequalities, difficult 20 types of health service providers, and high frequency of policy and rule changes. And we have a difficult medicine practice because we have poor infrastructure at the service providers. So generating high risk to the patients and to the doctors. And we have a proliferation of medical schools. So uh, we are forming, uh, graduating bad quality professionals, bad quality doctors. Uh, other big problem is incomplete institutional information exchange. We have a diversity of technology, legacy systems, and standards. So, uh, considering the, the, this, these challenges, what could be done to facilitate interaction between the doctors and the council? How to access legacy systems, the data of government departments without bureaucracy, the, to check licenses, records, and information integrity? Is the data safe? monitored fast reliable some of those questions we <laughs> we start to, to 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 ask and then we propose a few systems using micro profile we we gbr system was was founded in 2008 through consulting, software engineering, and attractive and training. The main, the main applications today is support inspectors and counselors in their principal job. That is professional discipline, guiding inspections, and, 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 and to serve uh, uh, and put online services that control the doctors and service providers in their life cycle within council. So when some of us became a doctor, we died as a doctor. So at the, the, the first, the, the, when we start to study medicine, at the end of our life, we have things to do within councils of medicine and to do quality auditing and certification of medical schools. Today we, we use the, the, the uh, we have us we take care of the federal council national inspections platform. We have three major three, three main modules: inspections, control, and scheduling; inspections, executions, checklists, images, notification, dynamic forms, reports, and statistics. The inspector goes to the hospital takes pictures, fill some checklists, and transmit to this, the main server. And then there they, they make the, the, their decisions. At the regional level, we have the life cycle control, as I said earlier. Here we, we have the, the, the base system with client and service and data layer. And the first ver version, we use Java A6, JBoss 7, Tomcat 6 and 7. Some front end with Adobe Flex, Adobe Air, Angular, JS 1. Int that data integration with Cat, all on premise. What year was when, the, when this system, I think it's useful to share the, the inception year of, of, of the entire system. What? Can, what, can. what was the year when the entire system started to be developed? 2009. Okay. 2000, end of, beginning of 2009. Yeah, thank you. And this version, we start to, we put in production full, fully 
at uh, 2013, 2000. And we have one, one piece in this aperture that we're going to refactor beginning next year. Here we show our distribution in Brazil. So we have the Federal Council in Brasilia and two the, the two main states at the south. Here's some graph, some dashboard of my, our national platform. And, and we started, well, I think two years ago, almost two, two years ago, to improve our architecture. So we, we plan to move to Jakarta AA8 to, to make the system more secure, with more security, fault tolerance, performance, and monitoring. So we use API Gateway with secure or out 2 with HTTP signatures, microservice monitoring and routing, standard integrations. Uh, our uh, prerequisite is to use cloud native, which we tested with different cloud providers, Amazon, Google Cloud. Today we are using Google Cloud and trying to use another one here in our state. Uh, we provide APIs to other institutions and we have a, a challenge here to move. Javax to Jakarta namespace that uh, Cesar is going to explain with more details. Okay, thank you. So, uh, as you can see, um, you know, it's, it's a complex system with more than 10 years of since, since it was started to be developed. Um, you know, um, as, as with any, uh, you know, living systems, uh, this roadmap has been evolving and and one of the first things that we started to, to work with Rafael's team at the beginning of the year was to be prepared for, for the namespace, namespace change. You know, at some point, uh, uh, for those who are, have been following uh, what's going on in, in the mailing list, uh, the conversations, you know, that we had the, the decision of making the, the incremental or the big bang approach that started uh, since, since early on. So around that time, there, 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 there was the need to start uh, planning what, what this migration that is happening right now to the cloud, as as, as Raphael has mentioned over the past two years, um, also now needs to involve uh, the, the namespace as part of the key points to, to change. Um, so for 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 all of those that are just joining this 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 call, if you if you can paste on the chat plus one, so I am aware that I I we have people that hasn't been on pre the previous session. Um, or if you are seeing the recording of this session, uh, this is just a brief introduction about what Jakarta EE is all about. Um, during this entire year, uh, we had been evangelized the, 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 the transition. And because even though it was since 2017 that was announced the, 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 the donation from Java EE to Eclipse Foundation, um, when we were still by the beginning of the year at, at, at conferences, still people was wondering what was Jakarta EE. So, I think it worked to add that. Um, if we go to the next slide, or you can uh, uh, ask me the, the grants, Raphael, teacher. Um, then, um, do yes, you want to share your yes. screen? Yes, please. Thank you. I'm um, stop so, by. Yes, please. So, so that 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 will give um, a quick overview about uh, what what Jakarta EE is all about, and and I always like to share uh, when people also on the conferences uh, start asking, okay, I thought that Eclipse was just an ID. We, I, I like to present uh, this um, slide to, to show that Jakarta is one of many other projects and all the, the industries that are involved and the amount of contributors and committers that the, uh, the entire Eclipse Foundation has. And also another another important part that that I like to highlight because it's uh, it's, it's uh, I am anticipating questions that I usually get. 
when we are talking about microprofile, Jakarta E, what is the relationship, right? So starting from the point that um, Eclipse Foundation is where this both is where both projects are hosted. Uh, actually, the top level project is EE for J for Jakarta EU. So this is their relationship in terms of w where where the projects are hosted. There were uh, I invite you. You haven't seen the, the the previous sessions. I invite you to to jump to 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 the previous sessions um, because there were many questions related to this. How how Jakarta EU relate to microprofile and so on. Um, we are not gonna repeat again everything, but uh, it's just a way to easily. Uh, see that there is a relationship, and I like to see this as a synergy from both projects in the case of Microprofile and Jakarta E. Um, a little bit of a quick Microprofile. We have seen demos, live coding demos during the day. Um, we have seen a little bit of roadmap, what's going next. Emily replies some questions about that. Uh, again, if this is the first time you are seeing about Microprofile, uh, Microfile is an open source community specification towards uh, having Java microservices uh, ready in, 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 in the modern, uh, as we call, cloud native environment. Um, let me go here. You can find more information and join the project um, by going into Microfile IO, and it's implemented by different vendors. Um, the project itself generates specs, APIs, and TCK. It doesn't generate uh, reference implementation like we, we used to hear back in Java EE, and then when you when we are talking about Jakarta EE too. Um, and just an overview in terms of the specifications um, that uh, Microprofile has. Um, I, I always I always add these from from the official slides that you can find in the, in the microfile website, and people also start asking Cesar why I am seeing CDI, JSONP, JAXRS, and JSONP, and the reason for that is that those are the baselines or the the, the, the baseline for the building blocks that allow the APIs of microfile to work and in, uh, and integrate uh, solutions on a cloud native environment for microservices, so. You already saw a couple of demos during the date about um, metrics, health, uh, open tracing, and fault tolerance. So each each of these specifications could uh, require a forty five minute session by its own. Um, so the the takeaway is that when we were trying to understand how or how the the, the, the system that uh, Rafael was describing was built and what will be the next step back to, to two years ago. Um, Microfile was like a, a very clear scenario to to take advantage of all those assets for, with more than ten years of you know of growing and innovation and the solution that, that that the team was building back in the days to enable them to jump into this new era of cloud native and multi cloud uh, providers. So for the demo, we are gonna we are we are going to see uh, we're gonna use Apache Tommy. As, as Rafael mentioned, uh, Apache Tommy is, is part of the roadmap of this uh, migration uh, and modernization. And I like to present Apache Tommy like Apache Tom, for all of those that are familiar with Apache Tom already think of Apache Tommy like the sum of Apache Tomcat plus Java E. Uh, I left Java E on purpose. Uh, so remember now Java E is Jakarta E. Um, and its main build from Apache components um, is uh, an open source project, is micro, micro profile compliant. Um, as David mentioned early in the morning, uh, the, the project is really close to be um, uh, Jakarta EE8, yeah, I'm sorry, Jakarta EE9 um, compatible. Um, and, and we already have uh, the Tommy uh, milestone tree. I have a typo here, uh, ready for you to test out the latest and greatest of, of, of this, of this uh, package migration, as is stated there. More information um, about the project itself, uh, tommy.apache.org. And for the demo, the flavor, as I call it, uh, of Apache Tommy that we are going to use is uh, microprofile. And um, apart from all the specs for, from Microprofile, here you are seeing a compound of specs that are a subset from uh, Jakarta E, right? You see Java several phases, um, you see Java persistent API, um, beam validation. So all those are building blocks. And, and, and I recall when there was a question early in the morning about how, how they were, if, if, if Microprofile and Jakarta E 
at some point were going to be integrated. And and the fact is that that that, that is already happening. Not because not because the projects are uh, two, two two separate projects within Eclipse Foundation. That doesn't mean that they fight each other. Actually, they complement each other. And in this case. Um, I am showing you here the, the the flavor of Tommy that is the microprofile one, and you are seeing apart from the microprofile APIs, the the Jakarta E related APIs. If you wonder about what other flavors are available, uh, you can check uh, uh, for forward slash comparison table, and it will give you a nice summary of what's what's the difference between the, the versions, and. Also, Rafael mentioned that you know when we are talking about how to secure load balance and route microservices. In this case, um, for for when, when when we were analyzing the blueprints of the new version of the system, uh, we took the we took the choice for 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 an API gateway. In this case, um, in production we had been using uh, Trustium API gateway, um, which is uh, one one of the products that that uh, Apache, uh, Tommy Tribe offers. Um, and this is part of the main architecture. And now, in terms of many of you that are watching these sessions, are wondering, okay, it's fine. We are gonna eat cake after this session. Um, and, and 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 there was also the announced that Jakarta E9 is is, is 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 now available. You know, and and application servers did the migration and all that. And you know, but. From my point of view, and in this case, I will say uh, GVR point of view, the project itself that we are describing with Raphael, we need to also take the decision how we are going to tackle this migration of the namespace. And the answer is not um, it, it is, is not just one. We ac actually have more than one option at this point. Um, the previous session was at really dive deep into the um, into the um, Eclipse Transformer. But here I want to show you from, from the user's point of view, what are the options that, that you currently have right now to start testing uh, the, this migration. So the first approach, obviously, is to say, OK, I have my code base. In this case, I will call uh, the code base um, the branch that actually generates your Jakarta EE8 and microprofile3.x, or independently the version you are using, the binaries that we have been using so far right, um, under Java 8. Um, and then, uh, yes, uh, Kevin has pointed out that microfiles is still based on Jakarta E8 and Java namespace. I, that's why I put it a, a question mark. Thank you for the clarification. I will leave the the four instead of the four and X. <laughs> so maybe it's gonna be five, but that, you know that is an ongoing discussion, right? And so the, the approach that you have is to create a, um, a, a new branch, and then that branch will become master. Independently, how you ended up. Um, how you ended up managing, um, you will end up having two branches, right? One for Jakarta E9 uh, with the microfile, I will say it X versions, because uh, as Kevin pointed out, for four is still going to be uh, related with Jakarta E8. Um, so this this can be useful for some scenarios. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna make I'm gonna I'm gonna provide examples for 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 GVR and for the system we are describing. You already start seeing some kind of uh, issues, right? Um, the system, as Rafael indicated, needs to be deployed in different cloud vendors, and sometimes um, if the system is going to be deployed by and any other you know any 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 other uh, application server or any other cloud provider, uh, start maintaining too much branches and and Having to port if we are gonna be backward compatible with the previous version because we don't we don't have the control of what version our current uh, state is is, is using. Um, having these two branches merging conflicts and all that is and backporting patches is is kind of cumbersome, right? So. The second approach is uh, what um, many of the application servers you have here during the day have chosen to, 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 to follow, and is do the migration at bytecode level. In this case, you avoid to having branches, there is no need of forks, and no merge conflicts at all. Um, I am exemplifying this by saying, okay, you're gonna keep keep having your master, GBR will keep having the master branch that we have been working for the past 10 years. And we were leveraged to Eclipse Transformer um, plugin, and in the case for for Tommy, we have also the the, the Tommy the Tommy plugin that will enable us to have um, I'm sorry uh, binaries that comply with each of the Jakarta E versions. 
Um, let me see, we have one question here, I think. Um, okay, no, it's not a question, okay, but, um, okay, thank you, Amelia, for, for, for the context there. So, what I'm gonna show you right now is how this, this second approach, you know, doing a grep and showing the result of the grep is, 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 is it isn't is, 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 is so much fun, you know? The possibility of something goes wrong is, is almost uh, impossible. So we, we like to see uh, demos that at some point may fail, right? <laughs> to see if it's alive. So if we divide in three steps, the first thing that you need to be aware is that, okay, you have your code base. Let's not touch that code base yet. What we need to do is boot up a, a application server that at this point um, is, uh, we are gonna use um, for, for this demo, Apache Tommy, the milestone tree version. Um, we are really close to have the final release, but for example, for example, purposes and, and quick testing right now, we can boot up Atomic Server, and that's the first step that we are going to do here. Um, you know, these are, in the slide, we have the, the entire steps uh, where you can download it, on zip file, ch mode, the, the binary. I'm going to jump straight to step number four. Okay, thank you, David. I think I have a type in download. Okay, thank you. I'm gonna check that. I'm I'm taking note here. Um, that's good. You are paying attention, guys. That's that's really 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 good. Um, okay, so we are booting ser we are, we are booting the server right now. If we go back to the slide, that that was the step, the, the easiest one. Um, build and run. Okay, what we are gonna do here for showing the integration between micro profile and in this case. Um, um, Jak Jakarta E8, but then apply the transformer to that is that we are going to download uh, currently on the internet, you have uh, more than 100 uh, examples of Jakarta EE9 available for you in the within the Tommy project. Um, and what we're going to do is to download, but notice that I on purpose left the examples on the 8 version, right? And uh, at this point, uh, I already did this. I download the entire uh, the, the entire project with all the examples. I already unzip that. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna really quickly go into the MicroFile custom health check um, example that we have here. Again, this is Java 8, and I already have it here open on my IDE. Um, and the takeaway from this before going into the code and see what's going on inside is that the only extra thing that you will have to add to your existing system that you want to um, test in a Jakarta E environment is that we are using here the Eclipse Transformer Transformer uh, plugin that was described in the previous session. If you have, is this the first time you're seeing, you're hearing about this plugin, this is the plugin that is going to do the magic for us of, gener of generating a bytecode level, the new binary or the new WAR file in this case for deploying our application in a Jakarta E9 server. Um, here for, for the Tommy project, we also use the, the, the uh, uh, Tommy plugin. So um, without further ado, let's go in and check out the, the, the project. So the project is, is really straightforward. We have um, an, a REST application that has a couple of endpoints, um, as you can see here, that basically give us the day and, and the weather, uh, the, 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 the weather from, from the day. Um, and that's pretty much, this is just a, a simple um, RESTful um, service. And let me go here to the import because this is the, the imports are the important part of this example. And uh, we are still using the old package, jax.ws, jax uh, inject, enterprise, you know. Um, and then we are applying um, MicroProfile um, custom health check, which basically is going to allow us to to play a little bit, to have a, a built-in logic in this example that we are going to request, make a request. Once we make a request to see how is the weather of the day, uh, no further requests are going to be allowed. So therefore the custom health check is going to say, okay, something goes wrong and now the server is down. As simple as that. Um, so what we are gonna do now, now that you double check again with imports that we are using Javax namespace, we are going to, I have the project here and we are going to run Maven Verify. And what that will, uh, what this will provide is actually in the target folder to separate WAR files. Um, let me for, sorry for this. Please kids, don't do this at home. Don't skip test, but for the sake of uh, 
speeding up the demo so we don't we don't run out of time. We still have plenty of content. I'm gonna just build and see the actual binaries there. Um, let me see. What else? What else? What else? Okay. So yeah, this is straightforward. Um, uh, Rafael, you have the Portuguese version here available if you want to to double check the the, the documentation. Uh, we have the English and the Spanish version. There is an ongoing migration um, translation effort within the Tommy project for for all of these concepts. And yes, okay. So now now we have here the binaries. Um, something that I want to highlight, so you can double check that the plugin is doing something, is that you will see here the transformer plugin doing his magic. Um, if we go to the target folder, you will see that we have the Jakarta E8 microprofile uh, project, the one that you may have on your own uh, version culture system. And but we also got now a version of the file that has of, of the WAR file that has Jakarta EE9. This is the one that we are gonna be deploying into Tommy. Um, we already deployed it uh, in the slides. You will see that we have, uh, you know, the, the copy to from from one place to another one. But the important part here is how we can inspect that the bike change already happened. So for that, I'm gonna the magic of not the evolution, but the magic of the copy and paste here. I'm gonna actually open. the compiler to check within the, the, the bytecode of this WAR file that the namespace change was already implemented by the plugin. Okay. So remember the class that we have in this case, the weather service help check. So we open this class. We will see that, for example, the, the enterprise application context, you know, it was already migrated to the Jakarta namespace and also the inject annotation. Um, everything else was left there because all Eclipse microprofile, health check, all those annotations are still um, microprofile related imports. And if we inspect also the endpoint, you will see that the, um, the rest endpoints also were migrated uh, at bytecode level. So in this, in this case, we are. Uh, validating that um, the, the bytecode is, uh, it was already migrated for you. Um, what is left now is just to make a couple of tests that to double check that everything is working. And for that, we left a couple of examples here about what needs to be uh, executed. And for the sake of time, I'm gonna copy and paste. I am double checking now the health of the servers. I previously deployed it. I didn't copy the WAR file, but it's already deployed. Um, so it, 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 the, the custom health check is actually, uh, you know, warning us that we just have one more ticket to go in terms of the um, of the usage of this API. Uh, whoops. Okay, go here. So we have, okay, today is a sunny day for all of those that are 1 a.m. in the morning. I don't think that's the case, but um, you know, if I call again now the um, the, the custom health check, uh, you will see that the weather is unavailable. Um, and also if I call now the overall status of that uh, service, uh, we, we, did, we did this on purpose, right? For, for demo um, is down. So as you can see here, this is how you can, easily test um, your existing Jakarta E8 applications and also uh, my, uh, test it in a, in, a, in a really clever way, I will say, uh, against uh, Jakarta E uh, server, Jakarta E9 server, um, and leverage the, the migration to, my, to, to the Eclipse Transformer plugin. Um, the, the slides are gonna be available after this session. If you want to take a look more, there was an entire session for just the Eclipse Transformer, but this is uh, an approach that we took within the, uh, within the Tommy project along with the with other with other application servers about how to how to quickly um, boot up and made the made the um, the migration of your applications. We have plenty of activity in the chat. I haven't been able to follow up. If I am uh, if I forget something, please uh, write your questions again. Uh, it's a little bit uh, uh, you know interactive. So what Rafael is going to describe us right now is, you know, when we migrate to Jakarta, to, to Java E, I will say two years ago, um, and, and starting to in incorporate microfile as the base architecture of the system, that pays, pays at, the, at the end, 
and I will say at the end of the first iteration that was at the beginning of this year, uh, we, we made this session b before COVID-19 and Rafael is going to share with us what are the benefits that we have found in this last um, 12 months of interacting with this architecture. So we, we recently at, at March, at the beginning of COVID-19 uh, here in the south of Brazil, uh, the, the, the people uh, cannot go to the doctor's office. So the telemedicine became uh, very use, useful to, to, to doctors, attend people and to and to make their medical practice and uh, doctors make prescription and make uh, some notes some uh, examinations uh, 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 prescriptions to the to the patients so how how they 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 gonna make this, this their job without the physical presence so we may we made a system in very hurry we receive a call in friday at friday start to implement at sunday and saturday and at the next friday we put to to their homologations and at the monday the first version became became at the production. So uh, we, I think, without our previous refactor to microprofile and API gate and, and those those patterns, we cannot uh, do this at this time. So we make we made a secure system with. Uh, very quick development with integrations with Google Authenticator with two factor with the pharmacy's database with the federal company's database and a doctor space with another model that we have already made it uh, the, the 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 gradation systems and we make a uh, 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 encryption of data of the sensitive data with attribute converter. Can you put an another slide? Here's the example of the digital prescription. We have QR code. We have uh, endpoint to valid to pharmacies validate them, and we have a password too. And we have uh, here an example of use of crypto converter that, that we if some somebody uh, took our database they don't understand nothing inside so we 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 saw uh, since March 20 this years almost 500 it's almost 600 prescription made it by the doctors at the south of Brazil. So the system is very, very as large, uh, has large use, uh, 40, uh, 20 hours a day. And the, the all those those benefits that, are, that I said earlier in the presentation, we prove at, with this application. So lesson learned. Uh, we have a question about how Microprofile Health Check was supplied. Um, we are running. We only have four four minutes, and if we have uh, for each of the specifications, uh, the before and after, and what was the overall impact, and a little bit of code about each specification. Again, that is this is a one hour session normally. So, um, in, in in the case of of, of health checks, health health checks and metrics, you know the system, um, like. Reading two years ago, uh, where the, the, the concept of cloud and containers were just starting to ramp up, um, now there is a requirement for any of the states where this system is installed to say, okay, I need to. It's okay if you are installing the system on this cloud provider that my state uses. 
but I'm sorry, I was I was a little bit on mute. So um, it, it's thinking that these systems needs to be deployed in different cloud providers and also uh, needs to be um, needs to be able to report to that particular infrastructure on that state uh, the amount of information that is needed to day to understand that the system is, is is behaving well. So before uh, the, the integration, you know, of the applying the health checks and microfile metrics, um, there was this process was really manual. It didn't have a lot of coverage, and 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 you know it requires the the common question of we don't know what happened. We need just to restart the server and 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 hope that everything is fine, you know? And this ended up being a reactive approach most, most of the time. And after applying uh, health checks and metrics, um, now there is a JSON-based standard um, amount of alert and, and metrics that we offer um, to, to, to each state that the site of by requirement install on premise or in the cloud that they, they, they use. Um, there was also the implementation of a user uh, of a UI of uh, a dashboard based on that. Um, the system, um, I think we have a couple of examples here. Um, this is something that previously was, it will require too much time to build. And as, as Rafael was explaining, uh, the usage of microprofile uh, metrics and health, because they are based on the standards. Um, it was really smooth just to get the data and, and use that. I know you saw um, on previous um, sessions Prometheus and, and Grafana, but in this case, uh, the requirements were specific for, you know, in terms of language and something simple that they wanted to see to understand how the system was behaving. So, so, th so that, that was something that was implemented. Um, I don't know if we have other questions. Um, Carlos says, does the plugin works well with fully classified domains names without imports? I mean to say fully qualified names in the classes. That's a good question, uh, Carlos. I haven't tested that yet. I will say yes. I will have the risk to say yes. Uh, if people from the, from, from the plugin is still on, on the chat, they can help us to reply. I will say yes. Uh, we can make a test. We are, we are, we are only one minute away. From 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 finish the session because we have the example there. I'm definitely gonna try it and I'll let you know in the chat if that work. Um, I don't know if we have any other question. Let me see. Yeah, there is one from Emily in the Q and A about fault tolerance. If you use that and which features. That's uh, yes, that's a good question too. Let me see if we included that. It's just authentication, risk client. Open API. We have examples. We don't have example of all tolerance, uh, but uh, yeah, basically, you know, the time uh, in t in terms of all tolerance, the timing is really important, right? Um, uh, Raphael, we are now in providing like a we are we are becoming a hub of integrating, as as Raphael was describing. Uh, you know, uh, pharmacies, providers, uh, and, and, and doctor offices. So, you know, having the ability to know if one pharmacy didn't reply in X amount of time, we can send a request to another one. So in that, in that regard, that has been really useful. I don't know if you have more on that uh, to mention, Rafael. And now we, we, we put more, more integrations with the uh, mail service, from Dynamai system, and and we use the the, the the fault tolerance over there. So we 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 have to 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 put the example here in the, our presentation says uh, to show. Yes, uh, yeah. We yes. we have to. So we are we're to one show. minute on overtime, but there is yeah. one question. Uh, if you can answer that in five seconds, that's okay. So, which microprofile API helped the most? I will say JSON Web Tokens. Uh, uh, you know the the all out the all out uh, uh, spec. Um, we didn't know that at some point in 2020 we were gonna be integrating with with. with we have something that. Let me see. I think uh, JSON Web Token config. And uh, metrics too. 
Yeah, the, the, security, the security of the system via, via OAuth and JSON Web Tokens Rest allow, 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 allow the system. Line. Yeah, allow the system to integrate with some things that we were not even imagined that we would need to be integrated. Now the system is used also to provide to me, to to doctors access to Mediline and 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 other databases of information yeah. that are uh, constantly being updated. And because the system now is a like a hub for for logging doctors and pharmacies yeah. and everything, um, all those systems are now uh, being authenticated against our system and microprofile um, OAuth uh, with JSON Web Token is is is. Uh, is is part is, is is what allowed us to integrate that okay then thank you very much and uh, i hope you will all join us in the next session where we wrap up this 12 and a half hour long conference <laughs> we've been doing and uh there will be cake so make sure to join this last slot as well thank you very thank, much thank you rafael thank you Ivar. thank you thank all. you